Hello. In this video, I will show you how to use the script genesubfrequency.run. This script requires three inputs, a data set, an alignment, a reference tree, for example, a species tree, and a set of individual gene trees, possibly generated using the script search gene trees.run. Then, the strip calculates the percentage of individual gene trees that display or are compatible with each group of the reference tree. Some authors refer to this measure as gene support frequency or GSF. For this example, I will use the GIP version of TNT. However, this script has no arguments and is very simple to run. For that reason, the instructions to run it are the same for both the GIP version and the console version of TNT. In this tutorial, we will use a dataset from this paper by Senshan Shi and colleagues. The dataset has 310 defined blocks, summing up almost 240,000 characters. The number of terminals is 46. So first, in the GI, we need to load the dataset. For that, we go to the menu File, Open Input File, and choose the data file. Then we need to load the reference tree in the same way that we did for the data file. And finally, we need to load the gene trees in the same way that we did for the data file and the tree file. Very important thing, we must, we must load the data set, the reference tree and the gene trees in that specific order. This is because the first tree in memory will always be the reference tree for the script. Now, once we have loaded the input files, we just need to type the command run gene sub frequency dot run. That's all. The script produces two output files. First, I want to show you the SVG graphic with the GSF tree. Here you can see above the branches the number of each node or each group. The gene trees could be incomplete in relation with the reference tree. It means it may not have all taxa that are included in the reference tree. Hence, the GSF values are presented in two ways. First, at the left and below branches, the graphic shows the percentage of gene trees in which the groups become identical to the reference tree once the taxa missing in the gene trees are pruned for the from the reference tree, call it here implicit agreement. And second, at the right and below the branches, the graphic shows the percentage of gene trees in which the groups of the reference tree are present with the exact species composition, call it here explicit agreement. Now I will show you the SVG graphic with the GSF matrix plot. Here each row corresponds to each one of the groups presented in the reference tree, it means the GSF tree. The values in parentheses are the percentage of gene trees in which the groups in which the group is present either in implicit agreement or in explicit agreement each column 
correspond to each one of the gene trees. The values in parentheses are the percentage of, gr of groups of the reference tree that they recovered, either in implicit agreement or in explicit agreement. The color code follows this convention, red for no agreement, green for explicit agreement, and yellow for implicit agreement. In addition, this information is also presented using color-coded bar charts, as you can see here. This is, here, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you and see you in the next tutorials.